Go ahead. All right, so everyone did all be taking it in novel study. I'm not sure if you have a few books that we took in novel study in English or in high school are the same. It's called The Book Thief. Okay. That's the name of the novel. Yeah, you talked about the book. Um, it's written by a guy named Marcus Zuzak. It's published in uh, 2005. Um, those of you who don't know it, you're probably thinking, oh, lots of us are gamers. Is it sci-fi? Is it fantasy? No, it's historical fiction of all things. It takes place in World War II. Uh, from the perspective of a uh, lower class German family, which is unique for, you know, World War II book, I would reckon. Um, the protagonist is a 10-year-old girl named Liesel. And in the, in the story, she, at the very beginning, she just lost her younger brother who dies, and she has to go live with a foster family, people she doesn't even know. And that sort of presents the, the main overarching story of the... Uh, of the novel, in that she has to sort of rebuild her life. She's traumatized by the fact that she lost her brother. She's poor, the family she's living with is poor, and she has to kind of rebuild her life, make new friends, and sort of grow up in this difficult time. Um, story play takes place over four years, and the most unique thing about this story that kind of really hooks on me is that it's not narrated from the point of view of the protagonist, it's actually, uh, written from the perspective of death, like the Grim Reaper character. Like, it's actually a character in the story, and spoiler alert, at the end when the main character dies, she actually meets with the narrator death, and it's just a really weird mind trip. Um, death is portrayed as actually a caring entity, unlike the typical um, embodiment of the Grim Reaper, which is like, you know, the hood, the sight, all that. Um, Kind of, it's almost uh, oddly humorous in the fact that Death actually hates his job and he doesn't like having to take so many people who are dying to like heaven. And they never actually say it's heaven, but like taking their souls out of their body and helping them pass on to the afterlife or whatever, right? Um, the way it, uh, it was described is that Death wants a vacation, which is kind of funny. Um, main themes and ideas in this novel is. Um, well, the big thing is mortality. Um, it's literally narrated by death, and it takes place in World War II. I don't really need to explain to you guys the implications that has in a lot of the characters in the story. Uh, reading and writing is another big thing. Uh, throughout the four years that the novel takes place in, uh, the main character, Liesel, slowly learns how to read and write. Uh, back in Germany back then, they put lots of restrictions on what you could read, and the books that would be given out to the population uh, so people wouldn't get any other ideas besides Nazi. And that's sort of the story, and that's why it's called The Book Thief, because the main character has to steal books from book burnings and from other places to try and learn how to read. And it sort of represents freedom in the story and how she slowly, um, slowly sort of uh, leans against Nazism as the book goes forward. And the last real theme and idea that plays a big part in all the overarching stories that happen is um, innocence, and in the face of all the negatives that she faces in her lives, in her life, rather, um, she has to try and maintain the innocence of her childhood. She's only ten years old, and she's going through all this stuff. And it's all it, the entire book is a struggle. It's not uh, it's not a very happy book. Um, but she has to like she makes new friends, and she has to learn how to be how to love and to be loved again because she was just so distraught at the very beginning of the book, and she gets stronger and more mature as it goes on. And it's really a coming-of-age story for her. Great.